Shannon is out of town for the next couple of weeks. She had to go to San Francisco for work. My goal is to try to get as much done as I can during that time in the tiny house. The stairs are almost done. I got them all mounted. It was getting to the point where the, uh, the treads were loose and I kept walking up and down the stairs and they were like moving underneath my feet. I was worried I was gonna like fall down them. So got everything screwed in, polyurethane, finished them. I finished this top step, got some brackets in. It's actually probably the strongest step of all of them now. So a little bit bigger, you get up there and then you can kind of make your way down the stairs. I also finished this wall here yesterday. Got that mounted. This will be the utility closet for the power system. We'll get to that. My goal for today is to finish these stairs entirely. I mean, I'm not going to paint them, but everything except painting them. I want to build the drawers. We do have, fortunately, a bunch of drawer slides here. I think these were from the High Ace build. Spent quite a bit of time over the past couple of days building these drawers and they are far from perfect. You know, they're not that off, but these drawer slides that I use, they're like these push to open drawer slides and they jam so easily, like they just don't really work that well. Drawers are done. Well, at least as done as I could ever hope to get them. I'm sure I'll make little alterations, but for now, it's time to move on. This bottom one here, will also act as the first step. I gotta get everything screwed in. It's not 100% secured yet, but uh, that one's coming along. I'm ready for a break from drawers. The next step is to work on trimming out all of the windows. We have officially hit the monsoon season out here in New Mexico. It's hard to believe it, but that is a thing where for like a couple of weeks or maybe a month or so during the summer, they get a lot of afternoon thunderstorms, higher humidity, and it has been raining a bunch. Pretty much rained entirely last night. I want to say we've gotten at least an inch or two of rain over the past few days, and it's looking like the forecast is going to keep raining at least quite a bit over the next week or two. Definitely a good thing, you know, there's quite a crazy drought going on in New Mexico right now, so... You know, I just need to be careful to plan my days around working outside. If I do need to get outside to do something around the tiny house, I just have to be smart about when I do it. It is pretty, uh, pretty incredible though. Some of these thunderstorms have been awesome to watch. Lots of like crazy lightning and cloud to ground lightning and that kind of thing. And it's just an interesting time of year here. Despite all the rain, I'm actually making a little bit of progress in here over the past couple of days. I've had a couple of long days in a row where I have done five of the seven windows and trimmed them out. They're not 100% done yet. I still have to run caulk and obviously paint and fill in my nail holes and everything, but they're definitely coming along. You know, I've never done any interior trim work before on a window. I did do a couple of the exteriors on the windows in the tiny house here, but uh, you know, this is all very new to me. I'm just trying to do the best that I can though and make them as best I can and kind of move on to the next thing. You know, Shannon is out of town still. She's in San Francisco. She'll be back a week from today. So my goal is to just try to push and get as much done as possible. Spend some long days and 
try to, uh, you know, get this thing to the point where when she does get back, we'll be ready to make our final push and hopefully move into this tiny house uh, as soon as possible. Like I said, I got to finish this window and then the one behind me, I am going to run a long piece of trim as well along the bottom here to try to cover up the seam in between the, uh, the two pieces of the cedar tongue and groove. And then I need to just kind of go on a cleaning spree in here, really clean everything up. I've definitely made a disaster. You know, this is the thing with the tiny house. Like I start getting ahead of myself and it's like, I gotta do this, 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 and this. Right now, finish window trim, clean up, and then move on to the ceiling. finished with all the window trim kind of went on like a crazy cleaning spree for quite a few hours and just got rid of all the scrap wood that I had lying around outside a lot of it had been like soaking wet after all the rain that we've been having and then just cleaned everything in here vacuumed swept got rid of all the sawdust it was uh it was quite the process but it's at the point now in here where it's almost feeling like a home it feels like a house like I feel like I could put a mattress up in the loft and just sleep up there and it would be totally fine so uh, you know obviously we're not out of the woods yet there's a lot left to be done a lot of little details there's no ceiling or no floor in here and that's kind of my goal for the next couple of days I really just want to go to town I want to just kind of go crazy again and just focus and get as much done as possible the day that Shin and left I did actually pick up this floor here from Floors and Decor, I think it was. It was on clearance. It was like 60 or maybe 70% off. I think it was $1.60 a square foot and it's like really high quality textured luxury vinyl planks. Looked pretty nice. I thought that the color would match. Shannon liked it as well. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the floor and then the ceiling up above the loft area at least. I'm going to use that same cedar tongue and groove here that we used on the back wall and in the bathroom. Before I can start doing the floors and the ceiling though, I want to put a coat of paint on all of my edges, anywhere that touches the ceiling now or touches the floor on the walls. I want to get paint on there so that when I do get the floors and the ceiling installed and then when Shannon and I do go to put that final coat of paint on the inside of the house, we won't have to worry about hitting those areas and then accidentally getting paint on the cedar or on our luxury vinyl planks. been another long day but definitely a successful one ceiling is done at least in the loft section all the cedar tongue and groove and then I was able to actually get the floor down as well in the uh, in the loft doing this ceiling was definitely 
quite a bit of a workout. I was just constantly going down the stairs and then up the ladder and then down the ladder and up the stairs. I haven't even looked at the time-lapse footage yet, but I'm sure that it was just me like constantly going up and down the stairs. The good news is the stairs do work, but my knees are kind of tired and I'm just feeling beat up. I gotta say like, you know, being in this loft and working on the floor and on the ceiling today, like there's not a lot of space up here, so to be like hunched over and constantly crawling all around to get to different positions and different areas and stuff, it was uh, it was pretty exhausting. But I'm glad that it's done, and I'm excited to get a mattress up here. We're gonna have to go with a pretty thin mattress, nothing too crazy. But once we get that down, you know, you know it's pretty much ready to go. You know, we, we got to spend a day or two painting and kind of cleaning up the trim work and maybe running some quarter round to hide some of the gaps and everything. But it's coming along guys. It's starting to feel like a house in here. I am very, very excited and, and pretty happy with the progress that I made over the past couple of weeks while Shannon was out of town. She does come back, I believe the day after tomorrow. So at that point I will get her and uh, you know, we'll get back in here and hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll be moving in pretty soon. There's a lot left to do. I got to do the, uh, you know, all the electrical stuff, the plumbing that's coming up next and finishing the floor downstairs and all the other painting and, and obviously the ceiling as well in that section, the little gable section back there. But like I said, it's coming along and you know, I, I know I've missed a couple of videos over the, uh, over the past couple of weeks, just here and there. I missed a Friday video last Friday and then one a couple of Fridays before that. This video was supposed to go live a week earlier, but I just, <laughs> I've just been focused on this guys. This has been a lot of work. It's been exhausting, but you know, it just doesn't leave much time for editing videos and spending all kind of time in front of the computer. So hopefully uh, tonight and tomorrow I'll be able to get caught up on some video editing and get some get some ready for you guys for the next couple of weeks. But feels good to be making progress in here. Thanks for watching. I can't thank you all enough for following along on this journey. And hopefully you guys are enjoying the tiny house build as much as I am. I'll talk to you all in the next one.